I'm after something about your mom. All right, folks. Matt here, Matt and Steve SC. Here with my friend Chris. We are going into uh, game four here. Flash ahead 2 1 with a mighty victory. Uh, irradiating Scourge, irradiating Defilers, irradiating Ultralisk, irradiating everything. And uh, Calm with no answer to that. Losing the game. So, we are going to see if Calm can come back here. And uh, it would be great if this could go to a fifth game. That would be awesome. I always love when things go down to the wire like that. Um, again, Flash not breaking a sweat throughout all of this. Uh, just because he is so calm. <laughs> all right, anyways. That was awful. Eh, shut up. Just whatever. All right. So, Chris, uh, being the noob to all of this, what what have you gotten out of this so far? What, what's been impressive to you? What what have so far? What would you say? Because that was a long game. That was a very back and forth. Yeah, very epic. Um, I think uh, you know, learning some new things about uh, different uh, tactics to use, using the swarm, for instance, by the Zerg. Uh, you know, I've played StarCraft a number of times. Never had any idea how to use that. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe take take that home and. Uh, Apply that to my own game. <laughs> he, might, he might try using. <laughs> might win once in a while. A Who swarm. Knows? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hold on, wait, guys, wait, guys. I gotta use this real quick. Don't do anything. <laughs> what does this button do? It's really cool. <laughs> right, right. Well, and you can see the importance of it, in the, you know. And without using a swarm, when Calm made that huge attack, he was just obliterated. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, ultralists are no match for thirty tanks. Uh, which is what we saw there. So, you no, can it's also see how much uh, timing comes into play as well. Yeah, you know, if, yeah. Uh, you're able to get your guys in the right place at the right time when right. Uh, your opponent's not there. You can take out a lot of his. Uh... Yeah, it, it's it's a, uh, it's a that's actually an official term in StarCraft is a timing attack where basically you design your build, you build specifically to attack at a specific time, knowing what the opponent is doing at that time and knowing where they're going to be at in their process. So, you know, you'll see a Zerg rush that might be a timing attack. You'll see a Lurker attack. Um, uh, you know, for instance, there's, you know, timing where you might go for, well, this is pretty rare, but like a two-hatch Lurker build uh, to rush Lurkers before the opponent can properly get up, you know, turrets or get a scan or something like that. And so then they're left without a scan with Lurkers in their base. So, you know, there's, there's, there's different stuff like that. Timing attacks are very important. And then also you'll hear a lot of uh, catching... Uh, some currency there. Uh, catching players out of position. Three dollars right. right there. <laughs> three US dollars. A dude's balling. That's why he's trying to hide his face. He's like, ladies, I got the cash. I'll go out and buy half of a Starbucks drink for you. <laughs> it's interesting because they all seem to have the same glasses. I'm pretty sure they're government issued. Government issued glasses. <laughs> Korean glasses. There's one player at Zero who has the uh, these purple glasses that are awesome. He's one of one of my favorite players. Um, I call him the Queen Zerg because he's great with queens and because he wears purple glasses. So. They're actually kind of similar to your glasses. I, I could see you with purple glasses. I could see you with purple glasses. That that would be kind of awesome. All right, uh, twelve hatch gonna go up here for uh, Calm. Uh, at least from what I can tell. So going standard. Oh, I haven't mentioned the map. So map here is Fighting Spirit. E wait, am I right? Yes, I believe I am right. All right, so Fighting Spirit, uh, the map, wonderful for being able to get your uh, a quick second expansion. Although interestingly on this map, rarely do I actually see people getting that quick second expansion. They, they tend to get the other expansion for whatever reason. Um, now, this will be an interesting game uh, because the players are going to be next to each other, so there is a shorter distance between them. Um, it, you know, a lot of times that that tends to make for a shorter all-around game, just because they don't have to travel as far. Um, they can go for a, kind of a little more aggressive, excuse me, an aggressive build here. There's Flash's uh, scouting SCV. Uh, he hasn't. I haven't seen a lot of uh, scouting SCV hijinks as much with Flash. Um, where he keeps his SCV there a long time. They're showing there is no gas right now. Um, Flash going for a 14cc, I believe. Uh, very, very fast expansion. Pretty much the fastest expansion you see Terrans do. Um, now, 
you know, he, he's of course had had Calm went for like a nine pull or something like that. Flash could have been in trouble a little bit from this, but uh, but he was able to scout the uh, the expansion going down. So of course Flash can do this very comfortably. So Flash going to go for a very very fast uh, economic lead here, um, and he will have an economic lead unless Calm decides to go for like a quick th uh, third hatchery. So. Calm getting the lair already, I think is what they showed. So Calm might be going for some sort of fast two hatch build. Um, maybe maybe going for like a quick two hatch mutilus or something like that. Which uh, that could actually be pretty pretty rough for Flash if Flash went for the very fast hatchery. Um, and I'm looking right now. I want them to show the main again. Nope, Flash is not going to die that easily. Um, okay, so the, okay, so the, I'm sorry. The lair is just now going up. I don't know why I thought I saw the lair was already up, but but very fat, fast lair. Calm going for very fast tech. Again, it's okay to go fast lair, but it can bite you in the butt later on. Uh, you are spending more minerals. Um, of course, right after he goes for the lair, he's going to get you know, assumingly aspire to get a, a fast mutilus harass. The problem is that. Flash has seen all of this. He knows all of this is going to happen. Flash is going to be able to get up the EVA day in time. He's going to be able to get the turrets up in time, assuming that. Um, by the way, quick trick for those that don't know that, um, you'll often see when somebody's microing a worker unit in somebody else's base, like an SCV or a probe, that the worker unit will be able to go through the other units that are attacking it. That's actually because the person microing it is clicking that unit on minerals. So if you click a worker on minerals, it automatically goes through any units that it encounters. So uh, so that's actually just kind of a little tip there. Um, it's kind of tough to do because you, you'll find yourself clicking on your minerals in your own base and clicking on the minerals in their base or clicking an expansion to try to, you know, to try to get the, uh, the worker to move around properly. But... All right, Flash. Uh, Flash also getting the barracks up as well, though. So he is at a third barracks already going up right now. Um, of course, getting the extra economy able to do so from the uh, fast expand that he did. So um, Flash is going to have plenty of army to counter the uh, the two hatch mutilists that are going to come out of this. So um, Calm is really going to have to micro very well to to try to to try to do some damage. The third hatchery is going up. Um, but at this point, Flash is definitely solidly in the lead as far as the uh, the economy goes. And you can tell that even just looking at the food count right now and how Flash is slowly starting to double the food count of, um, of Calm. I'm starting to run out of my voice after that last 45-minute game. There's the scan showing that the Calm sat is up. Flash does not waste any time spending the 50 energy. See what the other player has. Of course, he saw the Mutalist, which is what he already knew about anyways. Um, that is very standard placement for the third hatchery on this map, so I would not be surprised if Flash is going there right now. Um, he might have already scanned it. Uh, just four Mutalists going in right now here. We're going to see somebody scream. We're going to see Flash's scream. It's always awesome seeing their screens and how fast they can uh, micro here. Uh, Flash is... Great job microing against those Mutalists. 